Mark, thanks. More than 49,000 people die each year by suicide, and it's the third leading cause of death for those ages 12 to 18. Dr. Tim Perry with Frontier Health is here to talk to us a little bit more about suicide awareness. Dr. Perry, heavy topic, but thank you for joining us as always. Absolutely. Well, first off, what is the goal of National Suicide Prevention Month? To bring awareness about suicide. We have seen such a major increase in suicide in the last 25, 30 years. We want people to be aware of it. We want it to be a conversation. We want people to be able to talk openly about it so that those conversations can happen at the level where someone may be thinking about suicide and knows that someone cares about them and is actually having that conversation is not afraid to ask. What are some signs that people should look out for maybe within themselves or for a friend or a family member? You know, suicide is a is really a desperate plea for help is what it amounts to. It's not an ending life. It's something that wants to end the pain inside themselves. So there's two factors that really play a part in getting to that mindset. One is a sense of hopelessness and the other is desperation. And when those two get together, someone may not think there's other alternatives than ending my life. If someone starts to have a constant state of sadness, depression is still the number one cause of suicide. Start, constant state of depression, talking about wanting to end their life, not wanting to be around anymore, giving away possessions, starting to plan for their life to end, like planning a funeral, uh, obtaining ways to end their life, like purchasing a gun or collecting pills, increase in alcohol and drug use, withdrawing from friends and family, talking about people that can take care of things once I'm gone. When someone starts having those kinds of discussions, those kinds of things, take it seriously. Those are warning signs. Is there anything specific people need to be aware of when it comes to teens? We just heard that staggering statistic. What do we need to know about that? Well, teens are in a much more stressful environment perhaps today than we've ever seen in the history of our country where they're feeling a lot of pressure. And part of that is in play the environment in which kids are being brought up in. We are in a very stressful environment. Home pressure, a dysfunctional pressure, uh, issues with finances, issues around uh, uh, trauma that's occurring all over our country and in our homes. And this doesn't just isolate to the parents, the children are exposed to this as well. So I think there's an increased stress on teens that maybe hasn't been there in a while. Tw uh, 2022, we saw the highest rate of suicide since 1941. And in our area, this area of Tennessee, we're 19% higher than the national average when it comes to suicide. It's a serious problem for us and it includes our kids. And how important is it for people to get help and get help early? The sooner the better. The uh, four out of five people that are on a path to suicide will let their intentions be known. So we need to pay attention to that and be mindful of that, that someone's crying out for help. And if they're crying out for help, there are resources. They're not alone. And there are ways that they can look at to overcome most of the problems that they're facing and deal with those challenges outside of ending their life. Well, Dr. Perry, again, heavy topic, but always great information and great knowledge. Thank you so much for joining us here on First at Four to talk about it. For more information, you can contact Frontier Health. That number is listed.